Come with me, yes, come with me to dark towers. Who can tell what we shall see in dark towers? Dust and cobwebs everywhere, footsteps on the winding stair. Mystery is in the air in dark towers. In the garden, in the hall. Arch behind the wall. Come and listen to the call of dark towers. The story so far. The door of the red bedroom opened, and someone came in. Oh, I hope I didn't scare you. My name is Miss Hawk. This is Miss Hawk, who knows Benger and Bunce. She says she's an expert on very old books. She's going to look for the knight's golden book, hoping that there she'll find treasure. What was Miss Hawk looking for? The golden book of the tall knight. What happened next? The friendly ghost had given Tracy and Edward a clue. Where did he tell them to go? The book room. What was the real name of the book room? The old library. There was something strange about the clue they found there. There were letters missed out. Edward thinks he knows what the clue means. Got it. He's looking for old wheels. Father, mm -hmm. how old is that wheel you're working on? It's not old at all. Oh. Are there any really old ones around here? Why? Then Edward thought of something else that had a wheel. The old well. It's quiz time again. Now, which of these three words does Tracy say a lot? Read them all out loud. Choose one of them. Crackers, yes. It'd be funny if she'd said arf, wouldn't it? Now, in the story, you know this golden book of the tall knight that Miss Hawk seems to know all about? Well, it must be very, very old. Older than the tall knight. So we've put it on our time road right at the end. Right as far back as we can go. And I've also got together some very old books to show you. Of course, these are only copies. Look, all the writing is done by hand. Hmm? And, uh, oh, look, the capital letters, everyone's decorated and coloured. Do you know these yellow bits here were real gold? And, ah, look over here. There's a little space left at the end of the line, so they've put in a kind of bird with a very long, long feathery tail. Of course, the really old books are kept in museums now because there's not many of them. They're very, very rare and very precious. I can really understand a book expert like Miss Hawke getting all excited at the idea of finding something like this. The golden book of the tall knight. Hmm. I wonder what it's like. I bet it's beautiful. Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to leave all these out here for the kids coming in later on. And I've made a label. Here we are. Books from a long time ago. Hey, what's going on? 
books from a long Tim ago? That doesn't make sense. Watch out, watch out. Magic E's about. Oh. Hey, let's have a look at the Magic E song, shall we? You need me. I'm Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Kit flies a kite with me. See what you do with me. He bit out a bite with me. Add Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Hear what you do with me. It becomes I with me. Listen and look at me. I'm Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Sits on his side with me. See what you do with me. He hid in a hide with me. Add Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Hear what you do with me. Becomes I with me. Listen and look at me. I'm magic, magic e, magic, magic e. We've been playing a special kind of word game here, and what we're trying to do is to find words with magic e at the end and I in the middle. And um, we've got three words already. We've got bite. And pipe and hide. And there, I'm I'm doing very well. It's my turn now. Look at this then, Wordy. Right. <clears throat> we got P A I O N. What word can I make? I know. I know. Uh, P I N pin, and that becomes pine. <laughs> Well, of course, it is easy when you've got the E already at the end. <sighs> All right, Wordy, your turn. I can't go. I'm stuck and no mistake. Oh, what shall I do? Oh, I know. Questions. That's what we're going to do now. Look that up in the songbook, Jenny. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. The question mark. But before we come to that, Let's see Mr. Big and Mrs. Full Stop Lollipop again. Think big, big, big at the beginning. Put a capital first and you're winning. Think big, think big, think big. At the end there's a lady with a lollipop. When you finish the sentence, full stop. Think big, big, big at the beginning. When you finish the sentence, full stop. Do you want an answer? Are you in the dark? When you ask a question, <laughs> use a question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Are you in the dark? When you ask a question, use a question mark. I've just thought of something. Jokes are often questions and answers, aren't they? So I'll ask you the question. What kind of keys do ghosts use? The answer is skeleton keys. <laughs> yes, well, I think I'd better get on with what I was doing. What letters are written on this stone? ED, yes. When you add ED to the end of a word, it usually means it's happened. Take a look, add ED, and you've got looked. Oh! I think Bill the Brick is also building a wall with ED endings. Let's see, shall we? Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED. To say it's happened Take shout, add ED And build yourself a word All together now Shouted, shouted Take turn, add ED And build yourself a word All together now Turned, turned 
Take ask at ED and build yourself a word. All together now. Asked, asked. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED to show it's happened. It's Halloween this time of year. It's a time for ghosties and witches and things that go... <coughs> we asked a child called Nicola in Manchester to do a ghostly picture alphabet for us. And here it is. Thanks, Nicola. Let's look and see what Nicola has put for letter S. Ah, skeleton. Oh, that's good, isn't it? And letter C. Oh, a cobweb. Very good. And B. Oh, a bat. Now, here are two more pictures that Nicola has drawn for letters G and H. Letter G. Well, Nicola put ghost. I expect a lot of you would choose ghost, same as Nicola did. Right, and now letter H. Well, Nicola put haunted house. Ah, I expect quite a few of you would have chosen that too. It's good, isn't it? You could make your own ghostly picture alphabet for Halloween. Or you might find some of the letters a wee bit difficult to find really good ghostly words for. Oh, but why don't you see how many you can get? Ooh, ah, I know. Letter O for owl. Beware of the owl. <laughs> oh, well, do you are daft sometimes? Yes. Quite crackers. <laughs> crackers or not, I want to go back to the story to see where we were. Oh, yes, right you are. Well, here we are at the end of chapter four. Woohoo! Edward was turning the wheel of the old well. The clue said something about old wheels. First I thought of my father's wheel, you know, his potter's wheel. But that wasn't old enough. Then I thought of the old well, because it has this wheel. That's very clever. Perhaps you will find the golden book of the tall knight. And save the house from danger. But how can a book be a treasure? And how can it save the house? Some books are so old, they are rarer than diamonds. The golden book of the tall knight is said to be a thousand years old. If we find it, some museum might give more than a million pounds for it. Then, then we could keep the house and put everything right. The golden book of the tall knight. How I long to see it and to touch it. Feel something. Do you think it's the treasure? He gave the wheel one last turn. Up came the bucket. Go 
where old wheels went round, Towser. Coach wheels go round. The old coach house. <coughs> Glad you agree. Come on then. It was dark in the old coach house. The coaches were quiet and ghostly in the dark. Go on, Towser. Now's your chance. The great dog detective, Towser of the Yard. Clues, Towser. Find him. You think clues are like rats, don't you, boy? I'm glad you're here. It's spooky. Dust, dark, cobwebs, nothing else but under the seat a bit of paper. It's too dark in here. Someone was coming. Tracy and Towser hid inside the coach. It was Benja and Bunce. Shut the door, Bunce. There's a good fellow. We don't want anyone overhearing us, do we? Well, what do you think? Hmm. Nothing much here. Hmm? These things are all too big for us. Never get away with nicking a coach, would we? <laughs> <laughs> Might be some stuff inside them, though. Shall I have a look? No. Two bees buzzing together? No. No. Nothing worth stealing, my dear old Bunce. <laughs> we have all the best stuff. Tomorrow, we can put it in the big van and then set the house on fire. Why do that? I like this old house. Why set it on fire? So that people will think that the old chairs and pictures are in the fire and not in our van, my dear old Bunce. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting time here. What was that? Did you sneeze? Someone else here. In there. <laughs> Two spies. One with a tail and one without. Come on! Oh, dear. Come. Oh, dear. Did you hear us, young lady? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. We'd better go and see Lord Dark. I'll tell him what you said. Good. Tracy had not seen Bunce put something in her pocket. Come with me, yes, come with me to a dark tower. Dust and cobwebs everywhere, footsteps.
footsteps on the winding stair Mystery is in the air In dark towers In the garden, in the hall Through the arch behind the wall Come and listen to the call Of dark towers 